Hello my friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Missy and I'm so happy that you are here today. And just as the title says, this is going to be a fall decorating video right here in my living room and it is going to be packed with vintage goodness, thrifted items, antiques. That's what I love, a cozy country style, farmhouse style, and a little touch of whimsy. So I hope that you're going to enjoy this today and that it will give you some ideas and some inspiration for your home. I'm also going to show you an example of how how I put together my vignettes. So I really hope that that is helpful to you in your decorating. And we're just gonna have a lot of fun today getting ready for fall. Here at the beginning, I've just been showing you some before clips of the room before we decorate because I forgot to do that in my kitchen video and I did not want to make the same mistake again. And then I'm showing you here that I did finish this DIY project. Yay me! I get so happy when I finish these because I have so many going. I painted the bottom of this table black and I like it so much better. Now I'm going to decorate this table last because I'm going to be using it to show you how I do my vignette yet so I really hope that you enjoy this example and that it gives you some inspiration to do some vignettes in your home. Now that I have all of my pieces together, we're going to go ahead and get started on this. I'm going to start with some vintage irons. I have mentioned before that I love using them as bookends, and so that is what I'm going to do here. And then I have selected some books that go with colors of my decor, but also colors for fall. I love using vintage books, and I just really enjoy the texture and the color they bring to decor. Now I kind of realized here that it was going to work better to turn the irons around a little bit so that is what I am doing and then here again yet another book because I want to fill in the empty space and I have this little handkerchief here because it adds just some more texture and then these vintage eyeglasses of course are perfect to have with some books and they just add another little touch as well and then here I'm showing you that this platter kind of dips down and what I'm going to do is use these kind of wooden discs I guess I could call them that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm putting them down in here into the platter because I need something for my candle to sit on so that you can see it and it's not kind of down sitting in the platter you'll be able to see it much better by lifting it up but nobody will know that it is there and then I'm going to take some greenery here and cover that up as well which will help and then add some to the back so I have that balanced out some on the right and some on the left now here comes the little touch of fall this is the fun this is the part that my kitties keep trying to get they love to try to get these little pumpkins and so I'm just adding them all around to add that little touch of fall to this vignette and I think it turned out absolutely beautiful and it is going to be going on the top of my hutch and that candle right there actually lights up as well I thrifted that and it looks like real flame so just super happy with all of the colors and how this vignette turned out. Do you all remember my cute little squirrels? I love them so much. Now, many of you mentioned that you remember them from school, and I did as well, or I do as well. My parents are both retired school teachers, and I remember them as well from school. So I thought that was great that so many of you had mentioned that. Now, my hutch right here, I just have a lot of my ironstone collection in here for now, and then other small things that I like to collect. I have some scissors back there. I have a little doily in here 
here with my little knob. Now I'm showing you this because I have not showed you anything yet with this hutch being styled and so I wanted to share just a little bit of that with you here in the video and then of course I have a couple of fall touches but I have another pair of scissors here and then some bobbins back there in the back. I love the warmness of those tones on those bobbins. Oh and there's my cute little squirrel again and then I have that little pumpkin there on a stack of butter pats. I love butter pats and then this guy right here was a recent find at an antique store. And then up here on the top of this is where I have my beautiful vignette that we just did. Now it's really hard to record because I have so many windows right there behind it, but you can kind of see that flame up there going and it really looks like real flame. Now just look how cute the design on the front of those doors are. I just love that and I love looking through there. Now over here in the corner, we're not gonna do much fall decorating either. I'm just going to show you this real quickly. Now I have my fairy lights here. We are going to turn on all of those lights in there and I'm going to show you what that looks like. I just love those. And then I have my coffee grinders and some oil lamps down here. And then I just have an old window sitting back there. And then down here in this back, basket I have rolled up like some old coffee bean bags I think that's what those are and I'd like to find a big vintage scoop to kind of put down there now we are going to put something in this crock right here and just like magic there they are some moms I actually got those from Hobby Lobby I don't put the real ones inside because of my kitties but I think those look really really nice All right, let's talk about this Faribault blanket. I have never found one, and I found this one, and the odd thing about it was, and you're like, yes, Missy, you found it, you have it. When I purchased it for $9.99, I did not know it was a Faribault blanket. I just was looking for a pretty plaid blanket at a good price, and then when I got it home and was looking it over, I found the tag, and I thought, ah, I cannot believe I have found this, so that was a really awesome awesome surprise and then this wood I'm stacking up in here right now is wood that hubby cut for me and so I appreciate him doing that because I think it looks so warm and cozy I have an electric fireplace not a log burning one but we can all pretend and I just think this little setup right here looks so cozy there's nothing that says cozy fall more than a plaid blanket This next little bit of decorating is thanks to one of my viewers, one of my friends here at Ohio Vintage Home. Thank you so much. They said, don't put that barn back for Christmas. Go ahead and put it out and decorate it for the seasons. And so that is what we are going to do. So thank you so much for that suggestion. This is going to be a lot of fun. I have some leaf lights, some little bales of hay and pumpkins that I got from Hobby Lobby. And my little Fisher Price barn is going to get some decorating. This leaf garland right here is something that I put together. I got those leaves at a thrift store for 50 cents, and then I had some twine and some mini clothespins, and I went ahead and I made a garland out of it. And it's really nice because I don't have to damage the leaves because they are just clipped on there with the clothespins. I did share that on Instagram on my story. If you do not follow me there, it is Ohio Vintage Home. I would love to have you there. And there, we're going to turn the lights on. Aren't they so adorable? Adorable. I love sitting in my chair at night and just looking at this. It makes my heart so happy. I told you at the beginning I like a little touch of whimsy and I think that that little setup there on my mantle is definitely whimsy.
For those of you who watched my last video and saw that I purchased this here from the thrift store, this is where I decided to put it. I'm going to go ahead and do a mini gallery wall right here. There was nothing on that wall and I think that will turn out really nice when it is finished and it will also be really nice to pick out the pieces for that. This pillow cover right here I actually got this year from Amazon. If I can find it again, and I should be able to because it is this year, I will link it down in the description box for you. It is a very, very nice pillow cover and it does save so much money just buying the pillow covers rather than continually buying the pillows. Here's where I kind of wanted to get into more of the harvest market theme that I have going throughout the rest of my house. I'm using any and all the fall flowers and fruits that I have left and just putting them here in this basket. And what I kind of want to do with this and my coffee table is kind of create that harvest market seating area where you would sit down with your hot cocoa that you got and your little goodies that you bought from my harvest market, your pumpkins and your flowers, and you would sit down at a table and have a really nice centerpiece and then have maybe a fun little game. So that's kind of where the harvest market theme is going to be coming in here in the living room. And I'm going to show you how I put this vignette together again to give you yet another idea of maybe how to do that in your home. If you have been here, you know I love to use rice in my decorating. If you are new here, I love to use rice in my decorating because you can reuse it and it is very, very nice. And here, what I want to do is kind of use it as filler in this box and also at the same time, use it to kind of weight these candlesticks down because I do have four kitties in the house in a big black lab and this is going to be sitting on my coffee table. So I'm kind of putting these brass candlesticks in here because I think in a nice harvest market table you would have a beautiful centerpiece with some light and of course I like to go with some candles. Missy you're out of line here you're going to be adding the candles later. Hold that thought everybody. Right now we're going to go ahead and fill in the bottom and what I'm trying to do is disperse everything that I kind of have evenly by size and by color and then filling in here again in the bottom with some little pine cones and then building up with that with these leaves and some beautiful picks that we're going to be putting in here. Now back to that thought of the candlesticks. I'm going ahead and putting those in here. I have burnt them down so that they have that really black wick and they have that wax kind of coming down the sides of them. I think that makes it look so realistic and great. And then here I'm adding a little game and in this basket are the game pieces. So any guesses right now about what this game is? I really think this would be something that you would typically see on a table for some kiddos to have a lot of fun. And it's really neat because the pieces with this I'm going to be using pumpkins and little wooden chickens for the game of tic-tac-toe. I just about forgot to put my blanket on this couch. Now this is the chair that I typically sit in. There's my kitty cat. 
<laughs> this is a really pretty blanket. I believe I got this last year maybe from TJ Maxx and I just really like the orange colors in it and it just makes this couch right here a little comfy cozy. Now over here you'll notice nothing because it does me no good to have any pillows up there because Luke the lab just loves to get up there so that is kind of why everything looks bare except for my chair right there. Here I'm just lighting up the fairy lights with these little battery operated tea lights that's why I love to find them at thrift stores because I use so many of them and I just love the glow that these fairy lights give off hey buddy what's going on what's going on catchy what is it my little beaks huh I know. Kissing. And there are all my beautiful fairy lights flickering with their little tea lights in there. I just love them so much. I'm so happy I found that last one right there. If you have not checked out that video, I did find that and one other piece. Go ahead and check that out. It is on your screen right now. Thank you so much for being here with me today and bring on fall.